we're not going to use the copy of the angle construction, though. We're going to use the angle bisector construction to help that. So the first thing I need, though, is an angle, no matter which way I was doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and draw an angle that passes through the line and this dot. Okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and bisect the angle, but I'm going to bisect the angle with an arc. My first arc is going to pass through this point also. So I'm going to put a dot right here. This is my starting point. I'm going to set my compass in so that the circle is going over that dot. And then again, I'm looking for this dot in the hole. Just like that is a great one. So that's right there. I'm going to make a And I'm going to use the same compass set in the entire time. This is pretty. I'm going to move over to the dot that I already have. Same compass setting. I notice I did not pull my pencil out of the compass, so I'm certain that it's the same. Then moving over here, same compass setting. And there we are. Now, instead of bisecting the angle, what I'm going to do is draw a line that goes through this dot and this arc. And what I have ensured by using the same situation is that if I were to draw a line going here, these two angles would be the same. So they use the same construct compass setting the whole time. Also, these two angles are the same. So it's kind of a copy of the angle, it's just backwards. It's much easier than copying an angle. We did go through our points. So sometimes a lot of my par parallel line constructions that I have done, um, I don't necessarily go right through this point. And so this is a good example to go through. Much easier than some of your others. Parallel lines. Passing, passing through a specific point off of the line, obviously. And so those two lines are parallel. I push that on them using the angle bisection construction with all my compasses set the same arc length. All my compasses set the same arc length. 